all those of you who have ever been pushed down because you look different. This video is to you. Get a haircut, suit up, look normal and blend in. Or how about no? To all those of you who have ever been pushed down because you are different, you are not the one to blame. It should be legal to shoot people like you. Fucking weirdo, why don't you just die? Satanist, freak, it's not Halloween yet. I could read quotes all day. I could tell you about the numerous times that people have been orally or even physically assaulted just because they look different. The world is a weird place where a subcultural identity or look makes people think that this is okay. Why do you look like that? Do you want to be bullied? No, no, no. We are not the ones to blame for the narrow-mindedness of others. They are. While growing up, most of us was taught in school by parents or relatives that it is what's on the inside that counts. But we are many that have experienced that this was only valid as long as you fit in. We are many that experienced that the same people that taught us this started judging us the same moment that we did choose a subcultural fashion or lifestyle. This is wrong. I say, continue being you, continue being awesome, continue knowing that you are the most important person in your life, and continue knowing that you are not the one to blame. They are. So what is there to do? If you are Swedish, you should definitely get familiar with the initiative The Right to Subcultural Identity. I'll put some info in the pinned comment here below. Do not miss out. If you're not, support each other, unite and let us show the world that we are here and we are here to stay. Let us treat the issue with the seriousness it deserves. Let us work for a society where any violence against an alternative subculture is considered a hate crime. You might want to check out the Sophie Lancaster Foundation and their work on the issue. The foundation was started after the death of Sophie, a 20 year old goth girl who was murdered due to her subculture and the foundation is now working against prejudice and intolerance against alternative subcultures. Join an organization working with the issue or start your own initiative or just do something small to spread awareness or help someone. Let us also remember to treat each other with respect within the subculture. Live long and prosper. The same respect that we demand from the outside world. Working on this issue is not an easy task, but together we can change the world step by step. Do what you can. And remember, if the world treats you bad due to your choice of an alternative subculture, you are not the one to blame. But I think like, try to, um, just, just try to figure out why you're not worth what other people, why, sh why should you listen to what other people think about you? You should be the princess of your life, always. Treat each other with respect and kindness and just let everyone be who they are if it doesn't hurt you. Be positive towards each other and be like <laughs> good to each other. <laughs> like even, even if the person sitting next to you have another subculture or another age or another gender or whatever, it doesn't really matter, it's another person and you can learn from it and it could be your best friend. <laughs> If you thought that this video was worth watching, give it a like or subscribe or help me share it to the world. The book that I was browsing at the beginning of this video is called Våra Berättelser and it was produced by the Swedish project 
the right to subcultural, subcultural identity. It is basically a compilation of cases of discrimination against alternative subcultures and, and the two last voices that you got to hear in this video, Kari and Mixi, they were also filmed at one of their events. And there is another one coming up. So if you are Swedish, you should really go check out the info about the project down below. And to everyone else, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you around soon.